Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the Wicked Thrifter Resale Channel. Today is actually Tuesday, January 16th. It's the day after Martin Luther King Day. There was no mail yesterday, so we're getting our items packed up and shipped and ready, packed up and ready to ship today. Um, I've got, I think, 25 orders to pack up. I did take some in on Saturday just so it wouldn't be so much this morning. So we did take in, I think, seven. So it would have been a hefty trip today. And, and I just wanted to report in that we are on track. I'm actually doing really well so far this month compared to last January. I'm actually up, up you know, approximately 30% in gross revenue or gross sales. So um, that is fantastic. Fantastic. So, all right, we're going to get to polling today. Like I said, it's Tuesday, um, it's my non-thrifting day. I generally try to go out thrifting or sourcing. It's not just thrifting because I go to estate sales and pick up auctions and stuff three days a week. So generally I go out on, I think, Fridays, Thursday, Fridays, Saturdays, sometimes Mondays. And then obviously sprinkle in some auction pickups. But let's get to it. The total heading out today um will be a thousand one hundred and ninety two dollars so that's a nice big number um and there's some big awkward stuff so it should be not so fun today shipping and i'll show you what i'm talking about one of the obstacles i have to face is this monster pile of totes i'm in the process of organizing our personal items on one side of the the basement here um and this is kind of the destruction I'm dealing with right now, so I have to do a workaround on that. But the first item that I am picking to wrap is this stained glass Vikings lamp. So that's going to be a chore. Say what you will about the Minnesota Viking football team, but um, this is a really nice lamp, and it's heading out for $159 plus shipping on that. So it will take an oversized box. Thankfully, it is going to somebody more local. So here in Minnesota, um, if I was more daring and trusted people a little bit more, I probably would drive it up to their home myself to deliver it so they wouldn't have to pay that. But um, yeah, that's not what I'm going to do. But that's going to be shipped out. And the next item we're going to pull is... I apologize for the heater. It is freezing here in Minnesota. Um, a Jim Shore ship and that's going to be in that spot right over there. Here it is, the Jim Shore little figurine. It's of a sail sailboat or a little ship. This is heading out for $21 plus shipping. The next item up is a little plaque. It's just a little quote plaque. A house without books is like a room without windows. Horace Mann and that sold for $8.47 on an offer plus shipping. We also have a wood cross heading out and a piece of art glass or vintage glass. I shouldn't say art glass. Gotta hunt that guy down. This opalescent green little compote dish sold for $29.97 plus shipping. I don't believe it glows. I think I did test it. That's why it's not listed in the title because I would have checked that. Um, is heading out and then I also sold this handmade wood cross. It's signed by the artist on the back. It's a bunch of different inlaid woods and some glass beads or glass pieces. Um, and this sold for $16 plus shipping on an offer. We have a few carved wood pieces heading out. These figures are sold and heading out to the new owners. Um, they're little Henning, I believe Norwegian or Swedish wood carved figures. Um, this guy sold for $22.95 plus shipping. This guy sold for $15 plus shipping to the same person. And then this sold for $21 plus shipping. There's a little bit of damage to the beak and then you can see um, just a little bit of scuffing and stuff on there. But in this, um, I usually pick these up even if they're not signed, if they're wood carved and hand painted, usually on a branch like that. Um, they do fairly well for me and sell pretty fast. These always sell for me. Um, they vary in price what they sell for, but I will always grab them if they're at a reasonable price. And I usually find them at estate sales, not often at the thrift store. 
another art pottery mug is heading out and it's this mug here it's a Deneen pottery um funny face mug and that's sold for i believe i already said but i'm not sure 29.97 plus shipping a couple more figurines to grab i'm starting to pick up a few pieces here and there um only if they're unusual so this one was a fun interesting pickup this little dragon guy here, even though he's damaged, he sold for a decent amount of money. I have never heard of this before. It's Windstone Editions, North Hollywood, California, and it's like a unicorn dragon. I don't know if that's from a show or like, I have no clue. Um, but you can see there very clearly that the leg is busted and it's been re-glued. Um, if this was in mint condition, could sell over $200 plus shipping. I sold this even in its current condition for $79.97 plus shipping. So not a bad pickup. I think I only paid $6.99. You'll see in a future video, future picking video. Um, and this sold. I used to pick these up quite often. There's Circle of Love by Kim, Kim Lawrence, I believe. Um, they tend to sell during like the wedding season like cake toppers a lot of times um i don't know if that's the purpose but anyway they don't sell for a ton of money this is heading out the door for $16.97 plus shipping um and they're pretty simplistic usually i find them in white sometimes you can find them in like a black matte black color too um they vary in sizes they have some pretty large ones as well but that's heading out the door. Let's go grab some more. This also sold. It's another Peggy Carr fused glass plate. Signed down there at the bottom. The blue irises. $39.97 plus shipping. A few more wood pieces are heading out. Another bird and a kokeshi. So this wood bird on a branch. It's hand carved. It usually hangs on a wall like that. Um, sold for $33 plus shipping. Actually, $33.97 plus shipping, and this sold for $33 plus shipping. These older Kokeshi dolls that are signed um, with the bigger heads generally sell for a little bit more, so $30, $33 plus shipping on that. I also sold this wood recipe box, and that is definitely vintage vibes on that guy. Um, but it doesn't sell for a ton of money. Some of these can go for a decent amount. It's like a roll top desk version. Um, so for $18.73 plus shipping. And these are all heading out. These weren't huge money makers by any means. I've had this probably since the beginning of my reselling. Um, not all milk glass is created equal. And this is before I knew about the Avon, you know, thing. I knew that it was made by Avon, but... Anyway, so these two I sold as a pair, and they only sold for $14.42 plus shipping on an offer, and I've had it in my store for forever. This Polish pot, uh, Polish wood burn box, I think it's called Pyography, I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, this sold for $14, wait, $15 plus shipping. And then this little Gifts of the Magi um, has a book, and then it has you know, examples of the gifts, um, sold for $7.42 plus shipping on an offer. All right, I'm going to pull a few more. We have some art pottery heading out as well as my mind is went blank. So let's pull that first. Here are a couple of fun pottery pieces heading out the door. Um, I did accept offers on both of these. Um, this sold for $42 plus shipping. And I believe this sold for $42.97 plus shipping. Um, one little tip I'm going to give you a little tidbit is that don't just list it and forget it unless you're 100% certain on the item and that it's a fast sell through rate. A lot of times pottery is a longer tail item, especially if you're not 100% certain on who the maker is. Um, it's pretty wise if you go back over your listings from time to time, especially as your knowledge grows. Um, this I actually figured out who the artist was in future pieces that I picked up. Um, and I did not go back and fix my listing to include that information. It may have sold for a little bit more, maybe not. Um, but 
just, you know, make sure that you're keeping up to date as your knowledge grows. And if there's some stuff that you listed before with just a generic term, like let's say you picked up some fused art glass and you just put art glass, plate, rooster, heart, blah. Okay. That's not going to sell as well as if you put in the details and that the fact that it's actually a signed Peggy Car piece um, and go from there. Okay, it'll sell for more if you do that than if you just blanket it as a generic term. Um, I'm still learning. I by far have so much still that I need to learn. There, you know, it 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 would take decades to learn as much as I sell, like all the details on all the items. Um, there's no way for any one person to know all of that. At least in my opinion, I don't know how one person could acquire that much knowledge to know everything about all the little niches and stuff that we sell in. So just keep that in mind. The longer that you sell, go back into your listings and refresh them. Check to see if there's some more keywords and stuff that you could include that you've learned over the time. Or if, let's say you picked up a, a number of pieces of pottery and finally figure out who the maker is of that. Go back in and put that information in because it will definitely bump up uh, in the cells or bump you up in the search results for people looking for specific items. So all right, I'm going to keep pulling some more items. These three little dolls are stumping me. I have no, I don't know, it's one of those where it just got put where it got put when I didn't have as much space as I needed. So I'm hoping that it's on this shelf because I'm going nuts not finding them. They're three little vintage dolls. It is one of those days. That one of those days where you want to get out the door. It is freezing outside. I don't want to spend so much time out there. All right, give me a second. And just like that, there they are. They were in right where I looked the first time. I just don't know why my eye does that. So hopefully you guys don't have as much trouble. It's right where I knew they were in couldn't find them <laughs> lordy 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 all right so i sold these little dolls for 15 dollars plus shipping i don't know much about dolls something i don't know that i want to dig in too much i feel like some of the state sales that i've gone to um doll people can be hardcore <laughs> all right so that's heading out the door i also sold this vintage set it's not a complete set. It's missing one of the blue cups. Um, it's gorgeous. The gold is intact on all of them. Very sad that I didn't have the fourth or the eighth cup, the blue one. Um, so I accepted an offer on that for $45 plus shipping. Um, some of the prices on some of the vintage barware is coming down a little bit depending on... Um, the subject matter and this had the caddy with it so that's kind of a nice set. another Jim Shore item heading out it's a grandfather frost figurine I think it might be on the back side here and then the last item that I have to pull is a doorstop a dog doorstop an LL Bean doorstop all right maybe it's not on this side well maybe it's that Looking for a specific size box that I kind of remember it being in. It wasn't a very overly. And here it is. I was right. So this item is Grandfather Frost. It's a Russian Santa figurine. Um, this sold for $25 plus shipping. I apologize. I don't want to take it out of the box um, for shipping. And then I also sold this L.L. Bean it's like a pointer or cocker spaniel, some kind of spaniel dog doorstop. Um, there's some condition issues. Still has the original label there. Um, but he is heading out the door for $30 plus shipping. But this is heading out the door, so I'm happy. So this is all the items that I got to pack up. Not looking forward to that. Thank God it only has to go a little bit of you know, a distance and not super far. And hopefully they can get there in one piece. With the negative temperatures, I always worry about glass because when people need to warm it up to temperature, sometimes it just cracks. Hopefully that's not the case. All right.
that is going to wrap up this what sold video for this week if you have any questions just drop them down below again i take thank you for taking the time to watch the videos you have um i hope you have a wonderful day thanks and see you in the next one